What's going on, brothers? It's Limey Technical the name. Got another video for you. It's written title, Snares and Traps, part four. Here goes. Shout out to Brother RPM for waiting on the subject, so I figured go ahead and add my two cents. So here it is. So, the Democrats and the feminists up there in that dystopia known as New York have decided to come up with some laws that would effectively make game or lying to women to get laid illegal. <laughs> now, if you're a man worth your salt, if you're a man who has I see years to hear, if you're a man who's taking a red pill and going your own way, you would not be surprised at this news. Me personally, I'm not surprised at this news because I called it a year ago. I said that at some point these feminists were going to move the goalposts and make it illegal for these dom game monkeys and PUA clowns who promote lying women to get laid, they're going to have their head on a plate. I said that. And looks like it's really happening up there in New York. Now, I'm going to say it like this. If this law gets passed up there in New York, all you PUA frauds, all you dom game monkeys and fucking clowns who have a problem with this MGTOW philosophy, but you encourage men to lie to women to get laid, you do realize that up there in New York, you're going to be the public enemy number one, right? Do you know that? They're going to smoke your head. They don't like you. You see, you've been pimping and robbing men for a long time. And you do realize that if New Yorkers come up with something like this, then what's going to stop other blue states from drafting similar laws? Or laws that are worse. Or they're just going to come out and say that if you lie to women, that you're guilty of sexual misconduct. What's to stop them from doing that? But I know, I know, I know, I know. You PUA clowns, you dom game monkeys, structure your entire life around pussy. The peace leave. And that's why your misfortune does not hurt any of us. In fact, your misfortune is my entertainment. Because you've been lying and peddling fraud for a very long time. If you start with a lie, you end up with nothing. If this law gets passed, you guys are in a lot of trouble. And I get the distinct feeling that more than likely it will be passed. You brothers work your soul, you brothers, you brothers who have eyes ears to hear, keep an eye on this law. As much as I do, I do my part and others do their part to point out these legal snares and traps, You should also do your part to keep a watchful eye on these laws. Which ones that are in place and ones that are going to get passed. You see, me personally, I'm not telling men, I'm not telling young men to chase tail. In fact, it's better for you to just stack your green and enjoy your life trial free. No wife, no strife. That's what I promote. But... These PUA clowns, these dumb game monkeys, they don't get it. And if they're not careful, they're going to find themselves in prison. Now, this law doesn't surprise me, but at the same time, I'm also going to keep a watchful eye on where this goes. And also, look at other states that would draft similar laws. Because you do realize that if one state drafts a law that hurts men, you think the feminists won't get the right, um, in other states won't get the same idea? They come up with something similar. That's why I call these legal snares and traps. It has nothing to do with Protecting women has everything to do with resource extraction for men. That's the end goal, to extract resources for men. 
some communist bullshit, but then again, when you really think about it, the end game of communism is theft. That's what it is. And you brothers owe it to yourselves to keep your head on the swivel and stay safe and stay vigilant during these perilous times. And point out the legal snares and traps that are in your states. Mm hmm. Do that. See, I've been putting out big town content for years now. And none of my channels have been monetized because I'm not going to monetize facts, I'm not going to monetize the truth. However, I do have a tip jar, and the tip jar is in case anyone wants to donate. And I'm out, and unlike certain grifters, unlike certain PUA monkeys and Dom Game clowns, I don't beg for donations. I don't flick shit at my audience or my viewers who don't donate. But you're going to hear this truth. The truth hurts, but lies can kill. Mm-hmm. And hypocrisy can harvest grudges. Shout out Brother Jermaine. Stay safe out there, brothers. Keep your eyes open. Mm-hmm. This is Lion May Tao. So I got if you like the video, like seeing right the commentary, feel free to subscribe. If you're donating, visit my channel. You find a tip jar on the upper right hand side of the screen. This is G plus icon. All right, fam. All right, brethren. You know drill. You know routine. Go away the boy. S Y S P M. As for these P W clowns, these feminists, and those that promise we say now we say it, give them nothing. This is me, Tal P S C. More commercial type. See you soon.